Hi, my name is William Wood, and today I'm going to be sharing with you seven vision board ideas that I use to get more than 40 goals in a single calendar year. So let's get real. Why would you want to set up a vision board in the first place? One of the reasons why most of my clients want to set up a vision board is to activate the visual centers of the brain. A large portion of your neocortex is actually dedicated to seeing and to making images. That means that you can activate the manifestation capabilities of your subconscious mind by visualizing daily. Idea number one. So the first thing you want to do is define your space. Defining your space means that there is a border around the area that you're going to be actively visualizing. You can think of it as a way of telling the brain this is what I want to create. What I do is go down to Office Depot. I buy a cork board that's about three feet wide and two feet tall. It's exactly what I have on my bedroom wall right now today. And I use push pins. This is a way for me to easily place images in front of my eyes and my subconscious mind that allow me to focus and create exactly what I want to create. You don't want to make your vision board so big that you can't see it all at once. <laughs> don't do that. The way I think about it, while I'm staring at one image, I want to be able to see every other image out of my peripheral vision. A way of telling my brain, this is my kingdom. Idea numero dos. You only really want about three images on your vision board. If you're new to vision boards especially, the brain does not do well if you give it too many options. If you want to actually get what's on your vision board, you should probably limit it to no more than three images. Almost everyone who teaches vision boards teaches that you put everything that your heart's ever desired on, on that vision board. While that may work for some, most people actually start generating feelings of overwhelm when they look at their vision board. And the feeling that you create is absolutely key in getting what you want. So if you want overwhelm, put lots of images on your vision board. But if you want to get what's on your vision board, if you want to manifest it in your own life, three images, no more than five. Number three. So the whole point of a vision board is to be able to see it. If you can't see it, what's the point? So one time I had a client who put his vision board in the back of his closet behind all of his business suits so that if he ever actually wanted to see his vision board, he would have to go into the closet, scooch the clothes over to either side and spend a few minutes staring. Hmm. I wonder if that worked. Number four. So one of my ninja hacks is to take a cell phone picture and carry it with you so that if you want to stare at your vision board throughout the day, you don't have to wait until you're at home or at the office or wherever your vision board happens to be. Number five. Vision boards work because you spend dedicated time focusing your mind and your emotions on what you want. I found that in general, the best amount of time to focus on the vision board is somewhere between three and five minutes. Hmm. Some of you are wondering how I come up with that number of three to five minutes. You want to look at the vision board long enough that your mind relaxes. It's not an uncommon thing for you to get a little stressed out if you're looking at something that's real big. So to solve that, one of the things that you do is you stare at the images on your vision board until the negative mind chatter relaxes for at least one minute. That means that if you're looking at a vision board only long enough, 
that your brain is delivering negative self-talk. Who do you think you are? You may not be manifesting what you want. You may actually be manifesting the very thing that that negative dialogue is saying to you. Meditation doesn't mean sitting in some uncomfortable position on the top of a mountain. Meditation means taking the time to prepare your mind for the creative act. Um. So what that means is learning a technique to help you quiet and still the mind. I have other videos on meditation if you're interested in learning a little bit more. But what I do is I meditate for a few minutes and then when my mind is completely still, I look at my vision board. When the mind is quiet, it is fertile ground for powerful creation. Siete, siete, siete! One of the benefits of having a vision board is actually that the vision board reveals to you your thinking thinking. Ooh. Now you might wonder why is that a benefit? I mean, isn't this about positive thinking? Isn't this about manifesting your greatest desires? This is one of the least talked about uses of a vision board. Vision boards will literally tell you what thoughts, what emotions, and what beliefs you need to change if you're paying attention. So for the first few seconds to minutes that you're looking at the vision board before your mind chatter calms down, if negative thoughts arise and negative feelings arise, your vision board is literally teaching you what beliefs you need to change. When you change those beliefs, nothing stands in your way. And creation is just around the corner. What most people struggle with with their vision board is they struggle with their own negative thinking. You can visualize with negative thoughts and feelings and what you visualize will never come true. If you want proven strategies to change your thoughts and emotions, I've prepared a special 55 minute training just for you. This is a training that I delivered in front of several hundred entrepreneurs, teaching them how to change their thoughts so they could create the results that they wanted in business. So if you're looking for a powerful way to get results in your life, I'd like to invite you to go down into the description of this video and to click the link. Once the new web page opens up, make sure you enter in your email and press the button. And I will be emailing you a powerful 55 minute training that will teach you exactly how to harness the power of your mind your mouth and your heart to manifest exactly what it is that you want. So click the link below and I'll see you in your inbox.